Alongside head Havilland women's basketball coach Michael Madrid, I'm Mark and Sarah for Havilland Athletics. Just a couple days before Tamuk starts its first weekend at home after the holiday break. And coach, you'll have Lubbock Christian here on Friday, and then you'll have Eastern New Mexico on Sunday. When you guys got back from the holiday break and you got your players back in for practice, how happy are you with the, the energy, the attitude they had when they got back in the gym? Oh, it's been awesome. You know, it's always good to take a few days off, especially uh, mentally, uh, physically. And so um, for them to be able to go home and spend time with their families was awesome. Uh, you know, obviously they worked out on their own and did a few things. But to get them back in here and for us to just be able to concentrate on basketball, you know, right now we don't have any school to worry about. Um, you know, they've been great. We've had some really good workouts. We'll have another one this afternoon and just looking forward to the couple of games coming up. Obviously the way things went for you guys before the holiday break was not ideal. What were the lessons that you guys needed to take away from those two games? You know, the biggest lesson is we just need the ball to fall. You know, I thought both games, uh, we played extremely hard. I thought we executed extremely hard. I thought we got every single shot we wanted. It was just, you know, two of those games where the ball didn't fall. But uh, proud of our, our kids and our effort and the way they continue to battle. Um, the ball is going to fall for us and we'll end up, you know, on the positive side more, more times than not, I think. How do you try and make sure that the after two games like that, that the players stay positive, they don't get mentally beaten down, that they're they're still confident in themselves going forward? You know, they're so resilient. You know, it's funny. You know, they you know you go through a game, you, you don't win, um, but you know, an hour after, you know, we've kind of moved on. We talk about it in the locker room, and you know, sun comes up the next day, we'll move on, and pretty confident group and you know we prepare and get ready and you know we'll get ready for whoever we play next. This obviously is a can't find a much tougher assignment in Division 2 than Hillary Christian who will be here on Friday. How do you prepare your team for that matchup, that challenge? You know, we'll prepare for them the same way we do everybody else. You know, our focus is going to be us, you know, defensively, whatever assignments uh, we need to go through, we will offensively executing, taking care of the basketball, knocking down shots, but you know, it's the reason you come play in the Lone Star Conference. There's a lot of good teams. There's a lot of good basketball. There's a lot of good players, a lot of good coaches. And so just excited for another opportunity to play. Well, Coach, best luck this weekend. We'll see you on the court. Thanks for the time. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it.